What is going on everyone, my name is Declan and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways that you guys can make money after the latest hotfix. So this is a compilation of the best ways that you guys can make money and it actually consists of three different money glitches. The first one I'm going to be showing you is one of the best ways period to make money after the hotfix that probably will get hotfixed over the next few days and the other two that I'm going to be showing you shortly after that one is going to be ways that are more than likely going to work even after the hotfixes. So in this video you should learn at at least a few ways that you guys can make money before and after Rockstar decide to hotfix these glitches. But nevertheless, guys, of course, if you do go on to enjoy, be sure to support it by leaving a like. Your support is always greatly appreciated. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Novera HD. He actually applied me with some other footage for this video, guys. So if you could do me a huge favor, go over and subscribe to him. I will leave a link to his channel down in the description down below. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is by far the best way to make money in the game period. And to start things off, you want to go into a single player session and you want to change your target in mode to free aim. You can do that by going into the settings then go into the controls tab and then changing your target in mode to free aim. Once you guys have done that, you want to press start again, then go to online and then go straight into an invite only session. So when you guys spawn into the invite only session, your next step is to go ahead and get one of your personal vehicles impounded by the police. It doesn't matter which vehicle that you choose guys, just go ahead and choose any random vehicle. And then once you do have it impounded, what you then want to do is go over to your garage. Now at this point, you want to invite your friend to the game. Now when your friend is in the game, go ahead and have him come to your garage. You can either invite him to the apartment or you can have him just come into the garage with you. But either way, when your friend is in your garage and you have a vehicle impounded, what you now want to do is get inside of the vehicle that you want to duplicate once again in my case this is going to be a fully upgraded chrome adder as this is going to sell for over seven hundred thousand dollars making me millions in minutes every time i do this so once again go ahead and have you and your friend get inside of the vehicle that you want to duplicate and keep selling over and over again now once you guys have done that you then want to accelerate to drive outside of your garage now when you accelerate you will be put onto an alert screen that says leave garage with vehicle leaving the garage will destroy your currently impounded personal vehicle now from this screen you want to press the a and the b button at the exact same time i presume that's x and o on the playstation but when you guys press a and b at the exact same time on the alert screen it is going to put you onto a black screen now when you are on this black blank screen, you don't want to press the Xbox guide button and join a recent player's game. Now on the PlayStation, I think you might need a friend to host a session as I'm not entirely sure if there is kind of a recent players thing on the PlayStation. But nevertheless, if you are on the PlayStation, go ahead and have a friend invite you to his game and then accept the invite. If you're on Xbox, go ahead and join a recent player's game. Now when you join his game, it will then give you an alert message that says, are you sure you want to join a different player's session as you guys will see shortly. So when you get that, go ahead and press A and then straight after that, you should get another alert message that says this job activity or session has a different targeting mode to you. Now when this comes up, you now want to press the B button and when you press B, you will now be back inside of your garage, inside of the vehicle that you want to duplicate and on your friend's screen, your friend will be completely frozen and at this point, you can now duplicate the vehicle as known from before. Go ahead and bring up your phone, then go to the legendarymotorsport.net website, purchase an LG, and when you purchase one, go ahead and replace a vehicle in your garage. This can be any random vehicle and it will create an empty slot in your garage. Now, when there is an empty slot in there, and the reason there is an empty slot in there is because the LG is waiting to be delivered. Now, while it's waiting to be delivered, the slot is going to be empty. So what you guys need to do is when you purchase an LG and the slot is completely empty, you want to go over to the vehicle management screen, which is the blue Corona on the floor, and then go ahead and replace the original adder, the one you was in, with the empty LG slot. This will now create a duplicate copy of your vehicle and bear in mind once again guys your friend is still frozen at this point now to unfreeze your friend what you want to do is get back inside of the original vehicle as you guys can see me doing here then bring up the back menu or bring up the interaction menu and then from there select the empty personal vehicle option this will now empty your friend out of your car and on his screen he should now be inside of his garage at this point, you can now proceed to sell the vehicle that you are currently in. Go ahead and press A on the alert screen when you drive out of your garage. Take it all the way down to the Los Santos Customs and then sell the vehicle as it will sell at full price. And then from there, guys, you can just repeat the process over and over again, which will make you millions upon millions of dollars. And it's one of the fastest ways to make money 
after the latest heart fix. Now, glitches like this tend to get heart fixed every other day, so this one may get heart fixed shortly, so do this whilst you can. And I'm going to show you guys now two brand new methods, or two other methods, should I say, not brand new, that will most likely still work until they eventually update the game with a patch 1.16. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get into those now. So once again, huge shout out goes to Novera HD for this footage, guys. Make sure you go down into the description down below and subscribe to him. But this is actually known as the bounty glitch, or rather the infinite bounty glitch, where you can place a bounty on your friend's head, and that will be an infinite bounty, which means you can keep killing your friend over and over again, and claiming the benefits from that bounty alone, which means you can pretty much make around $9,000 and around 2,000 cash every single time you kill your friend, which is an absolutely insane amount of money. Now, to do this, what you guys want to do, of course, is first start off in an online session, and then you want to make sure that you have only $10,000 in the bank. Do not exceed that amount, guys. If you have more than that in your cash in hand or your bank, this glitch is not going to work. So if you want to transfer money onto your second character, you can do that by depositing every last bit of your money into the bank on your main character. Now, because the bank is connected between characters, you can go onto your second character, then withdraw all of the money from the bank. So that means that all of your money will be saved on your second character's cash in hand. And that is how you transfer money between characters. But nevertheless, guys, once you have around $10,000 in the bank, what you want to do then is drive inside of the Los Santos Customs with any random vehicle. This does not matter which vehicle you choose, guys. This can either be your personal vehicle or a random vehicle. Either way, just drive into the Los Santos Customs. Now, once you are inside, the next step is to go to any vehicle upgrade that you cannot afford. In Novera's case, this is the Crew Collab, but as you can see, when you try to purchase it, it will say that you have insufficient funds, and that is the error message or the alert message that you guys are looking for here. So go ahead and press B on that to cancel that. Then from there, you want to press the Start button, and immediately after you press the Start button, press the A button as well to try to purchase the upgrade. Now at this stage, it will say you have insufficient funds once again. Now because you press Start just before you pressed A, when you press A again on that screen, it will now put you onto the Pause menu. Now from the pause menu, you want to go over to online, then hover over the leave GTA online option and wait until that you see the orange spin save icon in the bottom right hand corner. Now as soon as you guys see the bottom right hand corner with the orange save icon, you now want to button mash A on the leave GTA online option. Now if you do that correctly guys and you immediately press A on leave GTA online, as soon as you see the orange save icon, it should now zoom you up into the clouds, put you into the game store, then when it puts you into the game store you want to press B, then once you press B from the game store, it will now put you down into a single player session and you should be frozen. If you are not frozen you may also be able to walk around, but either way, what you now want to do is go ahead and go to the game store once again then when you guys are at the game store once again what you now want to do is go ahead and have your friend invite you to his session now when your friend invites you to his invite only lobby what you now want to do is whilst you are still on the game store press the xbox or playstation menu then from there accept your friend's invite from the game store now when you accept his invite from the game store it will now put you down into your friend's session and you will still be michael from single player now, this basically was the single player character to online glitch. And if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on this, guys, I will have a link down in the description down below if you are having troubles with it here. But nevertheless, you can go down into the description down below, click the link, and it will take you over to that video. But nevertheless, when you are the single player character online, you can now set a bounty on your friend's head. Of course, I do suggest the most bounty that you can place. And of course, when you do place that bounty, your friend will now have an infinite bounty on his head as long as you stay alive and stay in the session as Michael from single player. Now whilst your friend has the infinite bounty on his head, your other friends can go ahead and kill him and he will keep respawning with a bounty on his head and every single time that your friends kill him, they will gain a total of 2000 reputation I believe and of course the money depends on the bounty that you place. So if you placed a $10,000 bounty, then you will gain 9000 back. As you can see here, Novera did actually only place an $8,000 bounty which is why every single time his friend actually keeps killing him over and over again he will only gain $7,000 but this part of the tutorial or this tutorial for this bounty glitch was more for your friend to watch and do and then of course when your friend does that then you can keep killing the person with the bounty on over and over again and keep claiming the benefits for that bounty over and over again and when you kill the person with the bounty it does have a little bit of a delay so as you can see here he did kill him and then he waits a little while and then of course the money and the bounty RP actually comes through so it's an awesome glitch to do guys you can actually farm this out your friend
friends can just sit there AFK while you farm this out for some great money and some great reputation. Nevertheless, that is this one covered and we are now going to move on to the last one, which is a pretty old one of mine, but it's definitely worth adding to the compilation, of course, if you don't know about it just yet, because this is actually a pretty goddamn insane way of making money and reputation very fast. So this is a way that you guys can make anywhere between $8,000 to $12,000 and $2,000 reputation every 10 seconds also known as the truck instant respawn glitch and this is one that me and a friend actually found a while back and we actually made a video on this but it's definitely worth adding to the compilation because this glitch does not seem to be hot fixed even after all of the hot fixes that rockstar have put out so this one is more than likely only going to get patched when they actually do release a patch 1.16 now to do this guys what you want to do is simply go into an invite only session with you and a friend simply wait in that session for an armor truck to spawn and when an armor truck does spawn and you can both see the icon on the minimap for the armor truck you want to have you follow the truck and have your friend enter his garage now when your friend enters his garage that somehow glitches the game out and every single time that you blow the armor truck up it will instantly respawn again within 10 seconds i have no clue how this works it somehow messes with the game mechanics but when your friend is inside of his garage it somehow glitches the game out now as you can see that all you want to do is simply blow up the back of the armored truck when you blow it up another one will spawn within 10 seconds and from there you just simply repeat the process every single time gaining you anywhere between eight thousand to twelve thousand dollars and two thousand reputation within around 10 to 20 seconds every single time that you do this and you can farm this forever guys it's an absolutely insane glitch that i personally thought you know was worth adding to the compilation just in case you guys haven't seen this one yet or you don't really know about this one yet but nevertheless guys as you can see right now coming up on the truck again and then i blow it up and gain all the benefits from the truck but anyway i hope you did enjoy the video hopefully you did find at least one way to make money first online the first one more than likely going to get hot fixed soon and the other two uh, including this one is more than likely not going to get hot fixed so these two are methods that you know should work even after the hot fixes so once again hope you will enjoyed if you did guys be sure to support the video by leaving a like your support is always greatly appreciated and without further ado i will see you guys tomorrow with two brand new videos